Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. Um, in today's video, we've got four autographs through the mail TTMs. I've got some um, some trading card database cards to show you guys. And I also broke down and bought another Topps 2023 Blaster. And we'll open up a pack of those. Um, as always, we'll start with the TTM. The first one is from Birmingham, Alabama. And we have got... We have got Chris Hammond. He signed 4-4 four four in 11 days. He had a career record of 66 and 62 with a 4.14 ERA. He played 14 years, appeared in 441 games. He played from 90 to 06. And he played with Cincinnati, Florida, Boston, Atlanta, the Yankees, Oakland, and San Diego. Um, his last five years in the league, he had a record of 20 and 7. And his best year was in 2002 when he went 7 and 2 with a 0 0.95 ERA. Again, that is Chris Hammond. Yeah, he had a 0 0.95 ERA. And I believe he appeared in 63. He had 63 appearances. And he pitched 76 innings that year. But if you have an ERA less than one, that is pretty, that is pretty awesome. All right, our second return is from Shreveport, Louisiana. We've got Scott Gerelts. He signed 5 of 5 in 127 days. He had a career record of 69 and 53 with a 3.29 ERA. He played 10 years, appeared in 352 games. He played from 82 to 91. He spent his entire career with the San Francisco Giants. He was an All-Star in 1985. His best year was in 1989 when he went 14 and 5 with a ERA of 2.28, which led the league. He finished sixth, and he finished sixth in the Cy Young voting that year. And like I said, he spent his entire career with the San Francisco Giants, and he is in the Giants Wall of Fame. Scott Gerelts. All right, next up, I'm going to show you um, something I got from the Trading Card Database. Um, they are doing, um, well, not they, but someone on the site is doing a, it's called a pot of gold. And if you sign up for it, you'll uh, randomly given, be given somebody else's name, and you just look on their, on their um, profile, find out what kind of cards they like, whatever, and you send them a pot of gold. Well, this is what I was sent, and I was sent it from Iowa State Bison. Pot of gold. It says, sorry I didn't have anything on your want list. Hopefully this flock of Orioles works. If not, send me a message, and I will look on eBay. But this, this package is pretty good, pretty sweet. I got this limited edition um, Cal Ripken subset here. Numbered 17687 out of 21,310. So we got that. He also sent me some pretty sweet cards. We have got Michael Ullman. We have got a Tom Eshelman Topps Chrome Auto. Trey Mancini. We have got the Baltimore Orioles numbered out of 199. That's a sweet one. We have Mr. Asher. We have got a Adam Jones 18 out of 18 patch. That's pretty awesome. 
And we have a com uh, commemorative 70th anniversary patch of Eddie Murray. So pr some pretty sweet cards. Definitely my favorite is that Adam Jones. That is, that is a sweet looking card right there. We'll put him up on the stand. So yes, um, Iowa State Bison, if you're if you watch this video, which I hope you do, thank you very much. Um, our next return is from Las Las Vegas, Nevada, and we have got Tom McCraw. He signed two of two in 61 days. He had a career batting average of 246. With 75 home runs, 404 RBIs. He also had 143 stolen bases. He played 13 years, appeared in 1,468 games. He played from 63 to 75. And he played with the White Sox, Senators, Indians, and Angels. Um, his best year by far was in 1967 when he hit 11 home runs, knocked in 45. Batted 236, and he also stole 24 bases. Tom McCraw. And he also sent me this little note that says, follow Tommy's Instagram page to hear stories, tips, and memories. Follow at Tommy McCraw Baseball Fan. So if you're a Tommy McCraw baseball fan or just a baseball fan, you want to read some stories, some memories, Go check it out. Uh, before we, um, I also made a small trade on the train car database and just got some TT, got a little bit of TTM fuel, some cards I want to send out. We got Dan Fouts and another one because he is a great signer. We've got the San Diego Chicken. Bob Greasy, I've never sent to him before, so we're going to try him. And Billy Joe Robodeau. So we got some TTM fuel there, just a little bit. And before we get to our last uh, return, we're gonna open up this 2023 pack. Let's see what we got here. We have got Mike Yaskremski, Steve Walker, Tim Anderson, he may enjoy Michael Massey, Zach Davies, Mr. Kim, Mr. Ashcroft. We have got Ronald Acuna Jr., 30-30 man. We have got a Mike Trout, Stars of MLB, Brian Bello, Keegan Thompson, Ryan Hensley, and Oswald Peraza. Not a great pack. Not the worst pack. We got a Mike Trout in there. You can't go wrong with Mike Trout. All right. Our final return is from Atlanta Metro. And we've got a basketball return. We have got Danny Ferry. He signed three of four in 117 days. He was the number two overall pick out of Duke in the 1989 draft. He was drafted by the Los Angeles Clippers. He did not play there. He went to Rome to play instead. Um, he played 15 years. He played from 89 to 03. In the NBA, he played with Cleveland and Sandy, San Antonio. He scored 6,439 points for an average of seven points a game. Did not sign that one. Um, he won an um, NBA title in 03 with the Spurs. And here's a little story. When I was young, um, still in high school, went to Camden Yards to watch a game. And we had some pretty sweet sweet seats as we were sitting right behind home plate. You can see the players' wives and all that back there. But um, right beside me, was this guy, and he had, he was there with like three of his friends, and they were drinking beer like crazy. Like one guy would, would buy a round, and then the next guy, and the next guy, and the next guy. 
And I had no idea who these guys were. And then later on in the game, Tom Davis, who is an announcer um, for the Orioles, comes up there and starts interviewing this guy sitting right next to me. And he's talking to him, interviewing him, talking about the basketball, this and that. I had no idea who this guy was. So then after the game was over, we went home and I turned the game on because I wanted, I was curious, who was this guy that I was sitting next to that I should have asked, but I never did. And it was Danny Ferry's dad. He was, he used to be, he used to host um, an, an NBA like Saturday show or Sunday show, whatever. But yeah, it was Danny Ferry's dad and I sat right next to him in an Orioles game. Did not know who he was, and so yeah. <laughs> little little short story about Danny Ferry's dad. Sat next to him in a baseball game at Camden Yards and never knew who he was the entire time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.